Hi, it's Vanessa Levin from PreKPages.com and today I'm going to take you on a tour of some of the parent handbooks that I have to offer at Pre-K Pages. Um, so here's the koala one. They are offered in many, many different themes. So whatever your classroom theme is, there's one for you. I even have one that's just a general school theme if you don't have a theme. So this is the koala theme. So the first thing you'll notice is that on page three, there are detailed directions for editing and personalizing this file. Please, please, please read these directions carefully so that you will know how to personalize this file to meet your needs. I also have listed the fonts that you will need to use if you would like to create your own slides to go into your parent handbook. So please take note of those free uh, fonts right there. Page four is the index. So here you will find the list of where the different things are located in this document. I've got instructions for the teacher on how to use the parent handbooks. So you can look at the instructions there. This is how I used them in my classroom and you may use them a little differently. So feel free to use them in the way that works best for you, your school or your program. So you've got three pages of instructions there. And now the parent handbook is offered in black and white because you're going to want to print one for every single parent in your classroom. So I, I know that you don't have a lot of ink or ink is very expensive. If you have 20 or more kids like most of us do in your class, or if you have two classes of more than 20 each. That's a lot of paper and a lot of ink. Um, so I've made them black and white for that reason. So here's a cover page. It's a generic one. You can use it as is. Or on the second page, you can click into these boxes and you can type in whatever you would like. Okay. On page three, there's a table of contents. You're going to want to personalize this to match your document. So whatever you put in here is what will appear inside this box. You can take out the text. So make sure you edit that and that can go in the first right after the cover page. Then there's an example letter here. This is the letter I used to write to my parents. This is the exact letter I used. You can use it to create your own on the next page here. So use this one as a reference if you would like, and then go ahead and type your own text in on the next page. We have a little checklist here, and again, you don't have to use all of these pages. You pick and choose the ones you would like. There's a philosophy. If your school requires you to have your teaching philosophy, you can have that. Here's a little bit of information about the curriculum. Just click inside the box to add text. Your contact info, very important. Pick up and drop off, school hours, after school care if you have it, you're gonna to wanna to include that. Any procedures for any type of meals, breakfast or lunch, you'll want to include that for sure. Um, how will the children be paying for meals? Um, you're gonna to wanna to list that procedure as well. If you're having snack, Click inside the boxes there, add your snack procedure, add your daily schedule in there. If you have rest time, click in the box there and you can add that information. Again, if you don't have rest time, there's no need to use this page. If you have nap, page for that as well. No nap, no need to use the page. I usually include attendance and tardy policies. If you have homework, there's a homework policy. Here's my example text here you click inside to personalize it to match your program or your classroom. If you have a folder, there's information for that. Weekly folders, report card information, parent conference information, your grading policy if you have one, procedures for being absent. This is very important in early childhood because we kids get sick a lot. Medication, another big one in this day and age. A dress code if you have one. If you don't have one, don't worry about it. I usually include backpack suggestions. Backpacks are usually a big problem. Extra clothes, if you teach little kids, this is a biggie. I don't think anyone will skip this one. Transportation, that's always a problem too. You probably want this one. 
click inside, edit that. Supplies, parents always want to know about school supplies if you have them. And you're going to want to put your information in there. Birthday policy, always very important. Always a very touchy situation. Make sure you put your information in there. And I usually include something about personal belongings. And kids always want to stuff their backpack full of toys. Classroom rules, click inside, add your own school rules. And then parents usually want to know how they can help the teacher. And you can put your policy in here. You don't allow that. Don't print that page. Helping my child, here's how they can help their kids at home. These are the skills they can work on. And now there are four blank slides here. If you need five, you simply click on the slide over here on the left, right click, and you hit duplicate slide, now you have five. You need six, right click, duplicate slide, now you have six. You wanna add text to this so that you can have anything you want right here. You go to insert at the top of the screen, text box right here, and then you type whatever you want so you can personalize these pages. If you want those cute headings like I have on this page, then you're gonna to wanna to install those two fonts I showed you on that instructions page. So then you can come over here, you can drop down and click your fancy font, okay? So after you've added all your information, then you can save your document, save as Mrs. Smith's class 2015 or whatever you like, okay? And when you're ready to print, you go to file and print after you've saved. And I get this question a lot, so listen up guys. You can print the slides you want. So if you only want to print this page, this is the only page you changed this year, that was slide 48, so I'm gonna put 48 to 48. So I'm only gonna print that page, okay? So let's exit this part here, let's go home. So every single one of the parent handbooks operates in this way. They all just have a different cute theme. So I hope that helps give you a better understanding of what's included in the parent handbook and how it can best work for you. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Have a great day.